Hello everybody and welcome back. Alright Danny, what are we doing today sir? Uh, today, I'm replacing a valve for a slow toilet that is uh, leaking, that was leaking. So now I'm going to put a new seal and a new, uh, and a new, uh, they sell the kits for them, for the stem. So you go like this, like this. To install it, the, the spring first. Can I see the oven? The spring first. So this is the old piece. Yes. So now we're gonna put and, it back And you together. think this this rubber piece like this was, was the one that was leaking? Yes. Okay. So and now, now we have... we're gonna put a new one on here on the tip. Much tighter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This thing was just sliding too easy. Let's see. And you make sure that it's flush. So that, that way, okay. you know, um, it's it's holding, it's coming back by itself, it's not coming off. See, on this one here, you have a, uh, you have a little lip here. See here? Oh. And it's got to go inside this lip, this ring, this rubber. And you just gotta make sure it goes in, and you're okay. But this on this new one is the same thing I had to do. So now to install it, I get the new ring, which is made out of like kind of uh, polyurethane rubber. This one. Because you were saying that had to be shut off, but we couldn't. We had to shut the whole main. Yes, exactly. So now I get this. And I need the handle over there. The handle kit. It goes like this. It goes this. It's this. Um, like this. insert that there, you insert that there for the seal, and then you put this here, and you screw it in. Oh, it's got a thread. Yeah, you thread it in. Yeah, this isn't your regular tank. Uh, toilet. It's not a regular tank no, toilet. So you thread it. Hold on. I should have been filming when you re uh, removed the old piece, but this is basically is. basically this you is installed it like this. You know, um, you got your ring seal. So, so I noticed it, you kind of it's hand tight. Yes, it's only hand tight. You don't have to do it anymore. And then this has to go in here. Install it here. And automatically it'll go in there. So you don't need Teflon tape or the... No. Because that's why you got the... Yes, so now it should work just fine. And you tighten it with some pliers, you know. So the easier way had we been able to shut it off from here... But now we have to close that and up, then, right? See, the reason I had to turn I had to turn the water off downstairs is because this here doesn't turn. Okay. And this here has a screwdriver that you stick in there to shut off turn the valve. It to shut the valve off in the okay. stem. Once it's off, you then you can take this off. You <laughs> flush it once and you take it off. Okay. And the job is done. All right, so, let's so now I gotta go downstairs, turn on the water. But you, you, you don't have to close this one up here. I mean, no, I didn't hey, do nothing to it. You loosen that. I'm no. gonna tighten it back oh, okay. up. Okay. Um, and everything's gonna be just fine. So let me go downstairs and turn the water on. Make sure I ain't got no leaks. All right, everybody. That was uh, how to uh, replace the um, the Sloan handle repair clip kit. It's a B-50A for the B-32A handle assembly one kit. So now he's going to um, turn the water on. Which 
should take a couple minutes. So, for those of you that like the content, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. So just waiting to see, uh, there it is. No leaks, shut off the water. Gonna wait for Danny to give it a flush. Okay, Danny, I was waiting for you to give it a flush. Let's give it a flush. Uh, I'm going to give it a flush. I'm going to test it. Make sure there's no water dripping. Uh, I've got to check the edges here. Making sure everything's okay. Oh, wow. That had a lot of air pressure, huh? And there it is. No water leaks. Okay, I'm going to do it again. And we're good. Okay. Perfect. Now, so, look at Renee. Get... I need you to get some of that white stuff and put it on here. Okay, I'll, I'll seal that. I'll seal, seal that. that. Um, okay. Uh, here's your screwdriver, sir. Oh, so and all I needed was a uh, pliers. Channel lock pliers. Channel lock pliers to take this off. Unless you have a crescent wrench that's big enough for this nut here. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, now I gotta take this piece up here because since it didn't want to turn, uh, I'm gonna just re-tighten re this back up the way it was, and I'm done with this job. Okay, so 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 sign up, Danny. To, to tell us a little about you, just for a minute, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, all I do is um, I'm a handyman. I, I uh, remodel homes. I do a lot of plumbing, electrical, drywall, plastering, painting. Um, I'm also a mechanic. Um, I also uh, I do doors, um, windows. I, I do a lot of um, lot of stuff like that. You know, I've been doing it for thirty years. You know, and uh, since my friend says I got a lot of skills, might as well uh, show up on YouTube. Yeah, I, I, let I, people I, know that you know what. It's not hard to it's not hard to do it. It's just wanting to do it. Exactly. It's, it's very informative that um, I was surprised that piece was like three dollars. And so exactly. uh, it, 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 it's, it's a $3 fix and if you own pliers you know there you go. So I mean a plumber what? 100 bucks? 200 bucks? Just to do that little job? 75 bucks. Easy. And that's because he's a friend of mine. <laughs> okay everybody um, we're gonna shoot a second video so I'm just going to sign off and uh, like I say, um, questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. Love you guys. Uh, take care. See you all in the next one.